Midsummer is when we celebrate the long days of summer with family and friends. The festival is beloved throughout Northern Europe, but nowhere is it more popular than here in Jorvik. This year's Midsummer celebration is being organized by the Jorvik Rangers, and it's set to be Jorvik's biggest yet. We're almost set up, but there are a few more tasks left. Do you think you and your horse could help out? That's the spirit. There are three stations where my colleagues can use your assistance. Stanislav is in charge of raising the midsummer pole. Our fire safety expert Ashley is in charge of the bonfire. Finally, I put Dylan in charge of setting up the banquet tables. With your help, the party will begin in no time. Oh great, you must be the volunteer Marisol promised me. I'm in charge of the midsummer banquet. There's gonna be salmon from Southhoof, herring from Cape West, potatoes from Steve's, and fresh berries from Mistful. I can't wait to stuff my face. Not that I would touch anything until the guests are finished. <laughs> in any case, before we can set out the food, someone needs to set up the tables and chairs. You'll have for that, won't you? Thomas Moreland was kind enough to offer up some folding chairs and tables from his stable. He should have set them out, so all you need to do is ride down with your horse and pick them up. Nice work with the tables and chairs. Remind me to thank Thomas later. He's been so helpful with the festivities this year. Said something about making sure the girls who came to his riding camp see Jorvik at its best. Speaking of Jorvik's best, let's get the banquet set up. James at Fort Pinta is generously sponsoring the food for the banquet. He just sent me a text saying that everything is ready for pickup, so maybe you could ride down to Fort Pinta and pick it up. It should be waiting for you next to the disco. Smells so good. I could eat the banquet myself. Okay, okay. I'll wait till everyone else has had some first. We're expecting a big turnout at this year's party. It's going to be tough to hear the music over everyone laughing and having fun. A good party is a loud party, am I right? I want people to feel the ns 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 in their bones. Fortunately, James also offered to let us borrow speakers from the Fort Pinta Disco for use at the Midsummer stage. Think you could pick those up as well?
Now we're ready to pump up the volume. This midsummer party is going to be off the chain. My favorite thing about midsummer parties growing up was the way they brought the whole community together. That's why this year we're inviting people you might have met from all around Jorvik to share in the festivities. Who knows, you might even see some new faces as well. I prepped the invitations while you were setting up the banquet. Now we just need to drop them in the mailbox. Would you mind dropping them off for me? Tables and chairs? Check. Food? Check. And uns, uns? Check. Everything's covered on my end. Thanks for your help, Junie. You can't celebrate midsummer without a midsummer pole. It needs to be tall enough to be seen from far away, but also wide and strong enough to last through weeks of partiers dancing round and round. It so happens there's a perfect pole just down the way by old Jasper's farmhouse. I've checked with the owner and he says we're more than welcome to take it. It's too heavy for me to carry but I see you have a good strong horse. Maybe the two of you could fetch the pole up here. Perfect, now we just need to decorate it. We wrap the midsummer pole in fresh green leaves to celebrate the season. There are plenty of branches in the woods between here and Moreland stables. We'll need a lot of leaves, so take your horse and gather as many as the two of you can carry. A proper midsummer pole is decorated with wildflowers to showcase the beauty of summer. I don't think Thomas Moreland would mind if you picked some flowers from the woods nearby. Why don't you and your horse go and pick a good mix of blooms? Once you've wrapped leaves around the pole, you can use those flowers to decorate it. The pole is looking great, now it's time to decorate. Wonderful, this will be the most impressive midsummer pole yet. The midsummer pole is looking great, but I can't help but feel as if it's missing something. I know, flower wreaths. Flower wreaths are the final touch our pole needs to celebrate the traditional way. It so happens I've set up a workstation for guests to make their own flower crowns. You could use that to assemble larger wreaths as well. Head on over to the flower crown workstation and make four wreaths for our pole.
Splendid. Let's place them on the pole. There's only one thing left to do. It's time to raise the pole. We'll do it together. On my mark, three, two, Just look at that, the finest midsummer pole in all of Jorvik, and a perfect setting for the frog dance. You remember the moves, right? Every midsummer festival needs a bonfire to keep the party going into the night, so we should just gather up some logs, douse them with lighter fluid and get our flame on, right? Wrong! Fire is not something we rangers take lightly. One spark is all it takes to turn a forest into cinders. That's why, this year, we're doing things my way, the safe way. I already picked out the site for the bonfire, 18 meters from any trees or buildings. Now we need some kindling to serve as the foundation for the fire. Old Jasper offered up some spare lumber that he's been storing by the farmhouse over yonder. That should do nicely. Could you and Dawn Chaser help bring it up here? You'll use proper lifting technique getting those logs onto your horse, right? Of course you will. We're sisters in safety. Perfect, our bonfire is off to a great start, and as a bonus, we took care of a fire hazard at Jasper's farmhouse. A double win for safety. We need more fuel to make sure this fire blazes long into the night, and I know just where to find it. There's a GED construction site nearby with plenty of good lumber. You and Don Chaser are going to take it. Stealing? No way! The Jorvik Rangers are government servants. I'm simply commandeering that lumber for the public good. Trust me, it will be fine. That should be enough wood to get us started. I'm pretty sure Kima from Mistfall will be bringing more wood later from the trail she cleared. Okay, this party is about to heat up. Time to get this baby burning. Normally, I would insist on lighting it myself for maximum safety. But considering how much you helped, perhaps you'd like the honor? Yes, yes, burn, burn, burn! <clears throat> Sorry about that, sometimes I get a little carried away. Um, good job with the fire, very safe. Before we break out the sparkling juice, there is one last little detail that will make this a midsummer for Jorvik to remember. Can you guess? That's right, someone has to place the Jorvigan flag at the top of the midsummer pole. You outdid yourself volunteering, which is why we think the honor of raising the flag should go to you. Here you are. Go ahead and climb up there, Junie. You can do it. I always tear up a little when I see the vegan flag wave. Even if you're not from Jorvik, any young lady with a love for horses can call Jorvik home. We're all family here, and that's why this is going to be the best midsummer festival ever. 
Now, let's start the music and break out the banquet. Let the Midsummer Festival begin. Welcome to the Midsummer Tent. This tent is said to sometimes grant whoever enters a vision of someone close to you, maybe even the love of your life. You will need to collect seven unique flowers before entering, however, and you will find them in hidden spots around the festival area. You have found the seven flowers. Please enter the tent and await the vision. <laughs> 